Interpol has no concern for your brother. But I've seen the Balkans men closer than most. Bucky needs to walk away from the case. Bucky's good at what he does. I respect that. It's not my place to interfere. Not even to save his life? Siobhan, he feels that you are in far greater danger than he is. I know my brother, he won't walk away from the challenge. Why are you so convinced that your wedding is going to turn into this huge fiasco? Years of experience with the groom. But why would he bail when he's getting everything that he wants? Brooklyn, I have absolutely no doubt that Luke is going to finance the wedding of my dreams. However, when the music starts and I walk down that aisle, Elvis will have left the building. If, I'm sorry, if you really think that's a possibility, why don't you just cancel the wedding? You are not really just trying to shove me into the abyss of matrimony here, are you? What are you so worried about? Really, I mean, you, you've been married to Tracy for years already. It, it just happened to be fraudulent, technically. Yeah, technically, it was fraudulent. So you're not going to try to talk me out of it? No, I'm not going to talk you into it, and I'm not going to talk you out of it. But the question isn't whether you can afford to marry Tracy. The question is whether you can afford to lose her. I just, I just hope that everybody understands that whatever choices I made, I was just trying to help Inez. Uh, Inez, when did Dr. Niles offer to give you the medication? When she realized how sick I am. And when was that? I'm sorry, I don't think it's appropriate that Dr. Scorpio be interrogating my patient. Actually, I think it's an appropriate question, given the circumstance. Uh, no, because the understanding was that my patient would come in no questions asked. Unless you've changed your mind and you want to turn her away because she doesn't have papers. That's not hospital policy, and you know that. Actually, there was absolutely no reason for you to steal the medication in the first yeah. place. Why didn't you just bring her in? Well, first of all, she was terrified. And second, I don't know where I stand here from day to day, and I didn't know how she'd be treated. And I was afraid that someone might turn her in to spite me. So the only solution you could come up with was to steal? You have my permission to admit her as a Jane Doe. We'll keep her until her fever goes down. And we won't call the authorities. Thank you. I can stay? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. I knew you could help me. Thank oh, you. I'm so glad that it all worked out. Okay, so I'm going to be admitting you, so everything will be fine. Don't okay. worry. I don't know how Lisa found that woman or how she convinced her to do this. So you don't think that's the housekeeper's cousin? No, of course I don't. She's covering her own butt. I, I don't know the reason she stole that medication, but I'm going to find out. You have no problem dragging me into a shootout, sending me on dangerous errands, or ordering me to drag a deranged doctor to your house. You're well paid, Ethel. So stop you complaining, and believe me when I tell you that you're better off not knowing. How can I watch your back if I don't know what kind of trouble you're in? Come here for a second. Thanks, I can use a refill. Cheers. <laughs> it all started when I said I'd do a favor for the Trujillos. Well, yeah, last time that happened, I ended up getting the crap beat out of me. Well, that's why I insisted on doing this one myself. What was the job? They were asked to accommodate a major European player. My job was to follow a certain man around town who's stalking somebody else here in Port Charles. Stalking who? My other job was to, if the guy got nabbed, make sure he didn't divulge any information. Okay, I'll try again. Stalking who? Sam McCall. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's really, really outstanding. I mean, there's nothing like pissing off a hitman's girlfriend, right? So the guy nabbed Sam in an alley. It was a bit of an ambush. Jason got the guy away, wrestled him to the ground, started beating the crap out of him. The guy was about to break, so I shot him. Not one of his better days, eh? Hmm. Jason returned fire in my general direction, and you know the rest. Well, so much for that truce. Nothing's gonna happen to the truce if Jason doesn't find out that I was involved. Which is why I had you go after Dr. Niles. She's a lot more tight-lipped than uh, our normal guy that we use. Well, it could be because he's a raging alcoholic. 
But I really wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Turns out Dr. Niles was a better choice. And now, she owes me more than she ever did. <sighs> Don't be so tedious, Jason. I'm sure this good man wants to go home to his family, right? I mean, after all, Christmas is around the corner. And actually, I need to be on my way. Jason. Jason. Lovely to see you. I trust your time in Mexico was as good as mine. But I have to admit that I expected you to be more respectful of the dead, seeing all the fuss you made after the loss of your father. So, can't you allow me to finish this little transition in peace? <laughs>